Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, welcome to the Outreach Chapel. We're going to go to the at 3998 876 Wendell Isle, 44105. 
Our phone number, if you wish to reach us, is 216-538-2432. Thank you for being with us today. Um, and if you would like to reach us by email as well, that is motherchapel at outlook.com. You can share requests and testimonies there as well. You can drop us a like. You're more than happy to read your testimony. And make sure that the Lord. We also have a website. It's lrmgfaith-community.com. We're doing this. And our services, which um, uh, Tuesday evening, we have a uh, Bible study, either here or on Zoom. Please watch your Facebook for that announcement, either way. Today, we found out in Sabbath School, it's National Encouragement Day. So if you haven't been given a word of encouragement yet today, let me be the first. We love you. You are missed, those of us who can't be together right. here. And let us be assured that we're praying for you. Yes. Amen. Amen. So at this time, we're going to go into a testimony, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 
Today, mm-hmm. be shy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. Thank you. 
from the spirit of death. <laughs> Trying to take them before the time. Because God has a purpose. And every last one of them. Thank God they know it. Even at their young age. Thank you, Jesus. You know, uh, this COVID thing, it has a lot of people really scared. But last Sunday afternoon, I was at the grocery store. And as I'm leaving and taking my shoes off, as I'm going into, the, into my car, I said something to the people next door about my invisible God is more powerful than the microscopic virus. Mm -hmm. To which they answered to me, praise the Lord, Psalms 93. I've been saying since this started, he will protect us from illness plague. And as far as I know, no one in our congregation has fallen to it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, do we have any more testimonies? Yeah. 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 And my church and my friends said, You're not on the cup. Who uh -huh. the head of my life? I just want to thank God for being safe. Safe to All those things. Oh, I got it. Did they didn't bring up in this building. I'll tell you, I don't want to say it, but you don't even say it. But I just want to say it with something. I'm so mad, I'm sanctified. <laughs>
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. failed us yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to either. No. We can't. No. Not any. No. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise him. At this time, we're going to take up the offering. For those who are in radio and Zoom land, but you can contribute. We do have a cash app. And it is dollar sign B O C C L R M G. And you can send your offerings through the cash app. Very convenient, by the way. Okay? Those who maybe don't carry cash, like me, my job is such that it's not safe to carry cash. So use cash app. Okay? Yes, boys, if you come forward. You can be God's given no matter how you try. Oh, you give, the more you give to you, just keep on giving, because it's really true. You can't be God's given, no, 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 no matter how you try. Can okay. you? There we go. Thank Heavenly you. Father, we thank you for what we have received from you, Lord, for you, Lord. Lord, multiply it to meet the need that are in your service and in our chapel lord and we pray these things in jesus name amen amen thank you daniel thank you jesus thank you alex Thank you. Now it's time to ready for our message. First, delivering the message today. I always enjoy her. The word she brings us. Such wisdom. Yes. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless this daughter as she comes to the Lord and brings what you have given her. Lord, bless her. Yes, Amen. 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 We're going to have our sermonic song, and then the next voice you hear, that of our dear sister. Amen. Amen.
but the real solution to suffering is not to isolate it in an attempt to do away with it and adore it. The solution rather is to condition our attitudes so that we learn to triumph in and through suffering. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can see in Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, uh, when the Apostle Paul sought relief from his thorn in the flesh, mm -hmm. uh, he requested to God for three times. God did not take it away, but reassured him with, My grace is sufficient for me, mm -hmm. for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. And other encouragement to the Corinthians, he wrote in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. God is able to make all grace abound towards you. Mm -hmm. That, oh sorry, uh, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Yes. Except for physical pain, handling suffering seems to be a question of attitude. What am I going to do in the phase of suffering in order to learn from it and use it for my advantage as far as God's eternal purpose is concerned. Some of the most pathetic people in the world are those who in the midst of adversity induce themselves by evolving in self-pity and bitterness all the while taking a sort of delight in blaming God for their problems. Oh, and Job chapter 13, verse 15. Uh, before it, Job's attitude is an inspiration. Yeah. I like Job's attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Job chapter 13, verse 15, it is written, For oh, he slay me, uh -huh. yet will I trust in him. Yes. Yeah. The sufferer will be best if in the midst of great agony and despair he can look into the face of his heavenly father and because of his eternal love and Presence, be grateful. Our response to suffering should lead us to look beyond in the attempt to see God's higher purpose and what He wants to teach us. What are some of the reasons for human suffering? Right. We may bring suffering upon ourselves. Desperation mm -hmm. and lack of discipline bring unhappy consequences. Right. Long-term abuse of our bodies may bring on sickness. Uh -huh. Wrong choices come back to harm us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God is taking corrective action because of sin and disobedience. Mm -hmm. God will correct and discipline his own. Yes. Through just him, he proves that he loves us and that we are truly his own. Mm -hmm. We can see in Hebrew chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11. God may permit suffering God may permit suffering so we learn to respond to problems in the biblical way. Yes. Yes. Scripture tells us that Jesus in Hebrew chapter 5 verse 8 Learned obedience from what he suffered. Yes. Our God should be not merely relieved from suffering, but rather learning to praise God by being responsive and obedient to God by being 
competent to him and to his God. Yeah. Sometimes God permits us to suffer to teach us that pain is a part of our life. Yes. Yes. Where does the Bible say that the Christians will not suffer adversity? Right now. I find out it in Philippians chapter 1, verse 29. That it is given in behalf of Christ not only to believe on him but also to suffer for his sake. Adversity can be a gift from God may permit suffering for our well being. Yeah. Romans chapter 8, verse 28, it is written, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Yeah. Sometimes God permits sufferings to speak through our life and testimony to comfort others. Yeah. Jesus said that the sufferings of the blind man in John chapter 9 was so that the work of God might be displayed in his life. God might work in our life through suffering to inspire others by our examples of adversity. Yeah. Those who endure adversity can sympathize and identify more effectively with others in their suffering. Uh -huh. We comfort others in the way we are comforted. Praise be to God and Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. Father of compassion uh -huh. and the God of all comfort. Yes, well. Who comforts us in all our trouble? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that we can comfort other those in trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. Yes. So, dear beloved, life is full of troubles. Yes, so, <laughs> God be with us in troubles, He yes. never leave us, and who shows His words through our troubles yes. in our lives. So, never. Uh, Strengthen, well, never fronted from troubles, uh, always ready for it because God comfort us and remove all troubles from our lives. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Say amen. Amen. Say amen. 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 Uh, in the time of trouble. Okay? She talked to us about in the time of trouble. Where to go to. You know, in the time of trouble, turning to man not going to really solve the problem. Right. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Oh, yes. Only Jesus oh, can solve the problems of this world. Spiritually and naturally. Yes. We come to that time called prayer time. I know. So if there's an issue, there's a situation. If you don't know Jesus mm. as your Lord and personal Savior, I want to encourage you today to take this opportunity to get to know him. Ask them to come in. Yes. Come into your heart. Yes, Lord. Come into your mind. Yes, Lord. Come into your spirit. Yes, come into your body. Yes, come into your body. Yes, Ask the anointing from yes, Ohio to come on in. He cut a whole shatter. And if you don't know him, all you think you got to do is real simple, real simple, real yes, simple. Yes. All you got to do is confess that you are a sinner. Yeah. We all were sinners and wretches undone. Yeah. All you got to do is confess it with your mouth. Okay. Believe in your heart that God is God. Wow. That his son is Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
that he died, but on the third day, on the third day, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, he got up. And he put that down to the whole shelter. And then he got up and he just kicked the same in the grips of the grave. Because all power is in his hand. Oh, no. If you believe that, mm -hmm. then receive that. If you believe it in your heart mm -hmm. and you confess with your mouth, you've already confessed that you're a sinner, you've already believed in your heart those things that I've already mentioned. The Bible says, the Bible says then you are. Hey. It didn't say that you are a member of the club. Yeah. <laughs> Now we have many social clubs out there. It didn't say you were a member then. Yeah. Simply stated the greatest thing. You are saved. Saved. Mm -hmm. Saved. Saved. Meaning saving from yourself. What does it mean to be saved? Well, perhaps you need to look at the burning that's going on out west. Yeah. And that can't even compare to the hell pot. So what you're being saved from is yourself taking yourself to hell. Mm. All right now. Mm -hmm. So let us pray. Now put on our prayer song. Hallelujah. Those of you who are able, you know how to kneel. Mm -hmm. Those of you who are not able, sit. Those of you, ha, 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 ha. Those of you who feel like you can stand because you've been off shut and you just want to stand out. The Lord, hear my, hear my, Lord, finally has something come in. Hallelujah. Jesus.
Father God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we rebuke the enemy. We bind the enemy. We bind every attack of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. And the Lord rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus. We bind every attack of the enemy against your people. Huh? Lord, when you said whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven, so we bind every attack of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you that I set up on that you see your healing power, see your healing power, see your healing power, see your healing power, Lord. Lord, you know the request of PCP, see your healing power in the name of Jesus. You know about the law, see your healing power in the name of Jesus. Lord, that's set up on Saturday. Hey, hey, hey. Lord, you know, you know every need. You know every health issue. But oh, I know that you are the great physician. And everything has to bow down to you. There's power. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. There's power in your name. There's power in your name. Jesus, oh, yeah. 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 Come into our minds over the radio broadcast. Come into our minds over the video broadcast. Lord, come into our minds as we stir each and every day. Lord, you know. You know how to make us encouraged. You know, Lord, how to make us reverence you. And you know what we praise you. Because as we think about our situation and we look around and there's others in worse situations, but because you're the God of the earth, you're the God of everything, you are fixed in all this. So fix every situation, fix every issue. Lord Jesus, you are Jehovah Tyra. You're more than, you're more than. More than, more than enough. Those who have lost everything, but you still are there. That you can make provisions when we see no way. And oh God, in this prayer box, Lord Jesus, you know every prayer request. Lord, you know, you know, you know every prayer request. And we plead the blood of Jesus right now. The blood of Jesus right now. Lord, that you prevail. Yeah. Let them come back with a testimony of how you deliver it, how you save, how you baptize and filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, how you work a miracle in their life. Lord, how you granted their request. Let it be known as a witness. So they can help some man, some woman, some boy or girl somewhere designed to be saved. Lord, and we rebuke the spirit of suicide right now. Yeah. We rebuke it right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it right now. Lord, give them assurance that there is greater. There's greater beyond what they're facing right now. Something that's better than just time to look shot. Live on. Live on. Don't do it. Because if you're not ready, why are you trying to go to hell? You're not ready. But get right with God. Right. We don't know the day or the hour, Jesus, you that you're coming back, but we know it's sooner than we think. Mm -hmm. And Lord, help us to be ready. Help us. Help us to be ready. Everyone under the sound of my voice, help us to be ready. Help In this neighborhood, help them to get ready and be ready. Help. In this city, help them to be ready and stay ready. Help. In this nation, Lord, help. Lord, help. help. Leaders all over the world, Lord, help. Yeah. Help us today. That we may be able to stand in the cast. Let our hearts stand up. He can do all the stand up. He can do all the wonders. That your will can be done for your glory, not our will, 
but your will be done. And last of all, look on our children. Lord, protect them as they go to and fro. Cover them in your blood, Lord Jesus. Cover them by shelter the blood, Lord Jesus. Our grandchildren, great grandchildren, cover them by shelter. Cover them in your blood. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you know why you created all of us, so help us to be that which you created us to do. In your master's name, Jesus, we pray. Thank you, God. Hey, ah, thank you. Thank you, God. Amen. Ah, thank you. And amen. Hey, thank you. And amen. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't do shut that. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. Hey, I got a whole shot. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. 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 We want to give him a hike. Yes, Lord. Now clapping your hands is up. That's okay. That's showing the way to death. But something is something in the hallelujah. Do you know why? How I know? I know when, and that's from picking up this year, okay? I know when EIT, <laughs> I mean, and she gets happy. You know, I know when she gets happy because I know what starts coming out of her mouth. And you know what it is? It's hallelujah. hallelujah. She gets it, that gets down to the side of her, but she gets the hallelujah. Yeah. She is a hallelujah praise. Amen. So I know, I know that's one way to know when she's happy. You know that hallelujah gets coming out. It's time to go there. Amen. Because that is the what? Highest praise. Highest praise. There's nothing wrong with thank you, Jesus. Yeah. But there's something about that. I, hey, hey, okay, I believe that. Yeah, yeah. But I keep saying it's going to be a problem. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing like that. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, you know, in your, in your, in your past, in the spirit of hallelujah comes, let's go ahead and go with it. Uh -huh. There's no reason not to say hallelujah. No reason. You might be, you might be surprised what the hallelujah do to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I got a couple of announcements to make. You know, this month we'll be celebrating church as a whole. Uh, eight chapel anniversary. God. Can you say amen? Amen. We're not celebrating the, the building, but we're celebrating being together for eight years. Amen. Yeah. This year, I have a special surprise for my all members of the sound of my voice. If you're able, the last Saturday in this month, we're going to celebrate. Yeah. And then I'm not going to tell you what your surprise is. And if you don't get here, you're just going to miss out. <laughs> I will tell you that I am cooking uh, uh, waffles. Oh, right. <laughs> Maybe the only time this year. <laughs> but I'm cooking waffles. Amen. No special talk of not cooking this day. It's not McDonald's. <laughs> uh, butter and serve. That's all we're doing. <laughs> I just said I was not McDonald's. I'm sure not Burger King. <laughs> That's not what I'm offering. You get it? <laughs> no, no. You get butter and syrup, and that's it. That's all I'm providing. Amen. So we do. We would do that instead of having uh, our, our uh, Sabbath school. We'll do that to for to conserve time. Amen. Amen. I'm just saying, if you don't be here, you're just gonna miss out. Right. I, I have no plan to repeat it, but it's gonna be a special service. Amen. Amen. Because the songwriter wrote, and we're going to play the cold song, and I'm just giving you a clue. My soul looks back 
and one. How I got over to be here. We are here for eight years. The Lord knows. Yes. It's one of those my soul looks back and oh, no. wonder yes. how we got over. Mm -hmm. And the Lord brought us to this time and this place. Amen. Yes. God, he had to be here, Brother Danny, the preacher back there talking. Because that's the preacher. Amen. <laughs> You may not know that, but I know that. I know it too. You ain't got to believe it, but I know it. Yes. Amen. Amen. So I'm just making that announcement. I'll be making it again <laughs> next Saturday. And we also, in the month of October, we're getting ready for our holy convocation. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We will be conducting it by Zoom and by radio. Amen. 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 I'm looking for a hallelujah time in the Lord for that too. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm looking for the revival. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you now, you know, those 40 days are going to be announced. You know, mm -hmm. 40 days, 40, 40 days, mm -hmm. and 40 nights. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We will be in consecration for the Holy Convocation. Amen. Mm -hmm. 40 days and 40 nights. Uh -huh. You can't cheat now. You go to 40 days and then nighttime, you eat up a storm. You know, see, we had to do it in moderation to the fast. If you don't fast, you won't. Nah. No, one person. Okay. Uh -huh. If you don't fast, you won't last. If you don't pray, you won't you stay. Won't okay. okay. I'm just trying to hear some people. God has spoken. So that's a church. Amen. How about hallelujah? Hallelujah. Be in my aid, Ezra, bless the Lord, the great God, and all the people answer. Amen. Amen. Lifting up their hands, they bow their heads and worship the Lord with their faces to the ground. When we receive a word from the Lord, our answer should be Amen. Let the church say Amen. Let the church say Amen. Let the church. Say, God is at the church. Say, at the church. Let him say, man. If you believe the word, let the whole church say, man. So let the church say amen. Lift your hands, lift your hands. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Thank you, Lord. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Church. Let the church say, 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 say
I don't want it just to be a song. I want it to be a time of close and worship. That's because we have it in our minds, but sometimes we notice in the service, we, that song gets in, and we get to sing it and forget about ourselves. <coughs> the Lord comes in. So allow that song to do what it needs to do. Especially coming up. So I'm trying to get that in there. So, you know, when it comes Holy Convocation time, that we are not just singing this. Ah, oh, thank you. That we into the spirit of worship. Yes, Lord. So if the Lord wants to do whatever he wants to do during that time, that we make ourselves available. Amen. Thank God for you. May heaven smile upon you. Tuesday, the Lord said the same. We will be on Zoom. And the radio broadcast. Wednesday, we're going to keep the whales down in. As they have the formality for their brother, uncle, everything else. Amen. Amen. Keep them in. Not just that day, but down the weeks when you know this is over. Then they call shot that. He prayed. You don't know when it's going to be your turn. Want somebody to pray for you. Oh, thank you. And she said, none of us have succumbed to COVID 19. So you talking about the church, say amen. Amen. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank God. Oh, my death. Hallelujah. <laughs> so you can be quiet if you want to. I'm trying yeah. to be hey, but you know, yeah. I get fully ashamed. Just give God praise. Amen. Encourage somebody else today. Amen. God bless you. This is the service. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I might do that.